Premiership starting, what do you think uh, of the Bristol Bears' chances? Um, just to clarify, uh, the new players who they've signed can play. Yeah. Yes, so they are eligible. Um, so this is this is still to conclude the current season. It's mm. not the new season. So uh, the Bears, I think, are sitting fourth in the log. So mm. they should make it into the playoffs. And then, I don't know, it's probably anyone's game then, but I do expect an extra Chiefs outright victory. Surely the Sale Sharks. No, I'm not a big Sale Sale Sharks fan. No. So, do Exeter have the the pack against the Sale Sharks? Yeah, the Exeter have got a great pack. They've just got yeah, they've just got key players in key positions. Okay, but Kuni is in the pack. Akers in the pack. Luet, Jean Luke, Dan Luke, Dan Dupree. No. Both Curry Bros, John Ross. How do you fit them all into the team? Well, you play Jean-Luc at lock, and then Jean-Luc and Lewis at lock, and then you have Tom Curry. John Ross. Yeah. Dude, that's so John Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Ditch one of the Curry bros for the bench. Oh, yeah. Ben on the bench, and then who else is there? Who else did we say? Oh, yeah, and then Dan as well. Dan and Ed. So you think the Dupree twins deserve starting spots over the, the Curry twins? Um, yes, I do. Yeah. The what like Tom Curry's a freak. Yeah. Ben Curry, yeah, I haven't watched him enough. What I've seen he's good, but he's not on the level of Tom yet. Yeah. And then um then Manu is in the center. So then we've got best nine in the world, mm-hmm. Fuck the Clap. Um Come on, he all he needs Aaron is a big Smith, pack. But yeah. Do you continue? Yeah, okay. All Fuff needs is a big pack, you know? To just Yeah. And then we got Rohan and Manu in the centers. Would you like to run into that sense of combination? <laughs> do you think they'll play well though? Like, do you think they'll be able to link up well together or they're just too similar? I don't know. I feel like Manu Tuolani thrives on a ball playing 12. So he plays great rugby with Owen Farrell at 12. Mm. And I just don't know if Roni Hans van Rienberg offers that same sort of distribution skill. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, he isn't unskilled. He's, yeah. got, he's got fairly decent skills for a big man. Mm. But I do think that it's sort of the they're both fulfill the same role that sort of hard ball carrying centre yeah. yeah but he um, he hasn't been playing much at all eh? he's been injured yeah he's been a bit injured but I think he is returned to full fitness yeah. I don't know I'm not overly impressed with the Sharks back three though yeah. Marlon Yard Hamsley and um, Solomano Denny Denny Solomona Denny Solomona yeah. Solomona Solomona yeah. yeah I don't know it just doesn't inspire for me so the Bears inspire you, huh? The Bears are still <laughs> the best team in Europe at the moment. Yeah. No, I'm a I'm a big Bears supporter. Mm. Piers O'Connor and Semi Rodradra in the in the centres. That's. So why did Piers move? Piers O'Connor, he didn't move. Who's the guy that plays twelve for Northampton then? Piers. Who um, went to the World Cup with England? Piers Francis. Oh, who's Piers O'Connor? Piers O'Connor is like a slight, also quite a young, youthful, like English player. He's a good player. Is it? For like 24, 25 years old. I don't know him well. Do you rate Piers Francis? Um, so I actually to, chatted to... Cup? Yeah. Yeah, I went to the World Cup. I chatted to... I met some Northampton coaches once and Came I was like... Bruce, I think. Yeah, I was like, not a fan of Piers. Eh? And they're like, he's so good, dude. Really? So, yeah, I don't know. That kind of swayed me. But um, I think he's alright. I mean, he's, he's scored a few tries. He seems pretty solid. No, not bad. I can't put my finger on the sense. Yeah. Well, now Kobe Reynach is gone, you know, so. Hey, Tekla. How are you? Hi, Lizzie. Good, Hello. Thanks. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Yes, sir. Bye. Are you, um, what are you doing, Tekla? I guess when we sleep now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just get some more edge on that beer. Yeah. Don't forget to look. I'll get in like a minute too. Well, I'll just, I'm getting out. Okay, sure. Don't forget to look. No, I won't. Hey, Tekla. Dude, it's a school night. And it beers to be drunk. <laughs> I love it. So, um, yeah, dude, Saints have got a good reserve nine, though. The other guy was Kubis' understudy. Who? I don't know. I just, 
Alex Mitchell or something. So I he got I saw him in some YouTube thing. He's going to be the starting nine in the 2023 World Cup for for England with Marcus Smith at ten. Um, what do you think about Marcus Smith's future? Because Owen Farrell's 28. So I know. He's still, got, he's still got at least four years four years dude, starting in. Dude, definitely. I don't know. I would I say love... five, but I don't know. Um, dude, Marcus Smith should play nine. England has should nine. Yeah, Ben Young's just... He's got, you know he's got 99 tests for England. Yeah. He's going to get 100 caps. Yeah. And like, I don't think I've ever seen him like... I've never watched Ben Young's pen and been like, wow, this guy's good. I know. I, no, just, I mean, I've seen like, him have a few good games. No, few... but he's just like, okay, it's Ben Young, so it's not... Yeah. He doesn't play, like, extraordinary rugby. Mm. Um, Fraser Dingwall is the other centre. Okay. For the Saints. Um, George Furbank. Quite a fan of George no, Furbank. Such a such a Kiwi, bro. He's like George Bridge. He just... Is he a Kiwi? No, he just got a key yeah, vibe. Yeah, plays like socks down. Yeah. Quite small, good feet. Mm. No, dude, I, I am a big fan. Um, have you seen that the Saints have signed Sean Ardendorf? Who's the? Sean Ardendorf was the captain of the Duke South African Under-20 World Cup when they won it in 2012. And got and was close to getting player of the tournament. So where has he been? He's playing like second division France. They've just signed him this season. Oh. So what do you think about that? Dude, I don't know. Like the Saints have got some good players. I think the Franks have retired though. I think yeah, they still. You know, Frank. They got. Oh, is it okay? Courtney Laws is still playing. Um, Lewis Ludlam is pretty good. Love, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Lewis, love Lewis. Uh, Naya Ravora. What's his first Dude, name? Te- tequila. Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> tequila. Dude. Yeah. Dude, what a legend, this Naya Ravora. I know. And tigers, dude. Tigers, what are they doing? Okay. Tigers are tigers, tigers are asking to go back to the championship. <laughs> but they've made some big signings, and they let rid, got rid of Johnny May. That must have saved them a couple couple of grand. But Johnny May's been gone for. Please, he played this season for Saris. Johnny May, no, not you. Think of Elliot Daly. Sorry, I'm thinking of Elliot Daly. Who's yeah. so Johnny, Johnny May? Johnny May, May was a tiger. He's gone to Gloucester. Gloucester. Yeah. Sorry, he's gone to Gloucester. And yeah, so. I mean, he's such a beast, bro, but obviously he doesn't but the play thing is, The thing is, um, the impact of a wing is a lot less than any other position on the field. When you lose your star center, when you lose your star fly when you lose yeah. your star back row, yeah. that's a big loss. When you lose your star wing, I mean, if he wasn't getting service, he wasn't doing much. What do you think? But they do have, they've got, they've got George Ford. I know, bro. So and George Ben Young, which Ben Young's is great in there. George Ford was the fourth youngest player ever to play to debut in the Premiership. So was he 17? 18? Yeah, 17 and like turning 18. How ridiculous Jeez. is that? Yeah. But who have they got? Who have they got now? Um, yeah, Leicester. Who have they got? Well, what do you, what do you think is happening with Leicester? Like, One of my favourite players plays for Leicester, Jordan Tulsa. No, what I was going to ask, bro. Yeah, Beast. What do you think Ndolo is on? Like, what are they paying? A lot. How much? A lot. Like he'll be in the he'll be in the top earner there. He'll be like maybe on the same level as George Ford, definitely. Because he, I think George Ford is five hundred thousand pounds a season, or like four fifty. He'll yeah. be on like four twenty to five. He'll be like slightly under just to please like George Ford, but he'll be on like big money. <laughs> <laughs> and like, um, how old is he though? Isn't he a bit too old? You know, I think he's thirty two. Yeah. But he scored 49 tries in 61 games for Montpellier. Yeah. So he was a try scoring machine. Yeah. So who so who do they have in their back line? Ben Ford, Ndolo, um Man who's gone, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, it's gonna be interesting. Kivio for Yon was there, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone, eh? He's gone for the Lions. Yeah, that's good, bro. Come back. Yeah, yeah. He could be a book, eh? Uh, He's a bit of a. Remember when JJ Engelbrecht was really good? He had that, I've never said JJ Engelbrecht was good. No, he was really good in like 2014 or something. Okay. Um, He's got that kind of nice outside center natural running. No, you know. I think they'll play him at 15. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's have a look at the Tiger squad here. Yeah. So Yerville's gone, they had that South African, Jakob Tauter, I don't know where he's gone now. No, he was, wasn't he a monster? 
Yeah, he was in Munster, but he was also at Tigers. I think he moved from one, which I don't know which way. He uh, lost played good rugby in like 2012 when he was at the Lions. He was at he was the Stormers, eh? Yeah, and then he went to the Stormers. Bro, he, he was, was good at the Stormers. Bro. Played a couple of caps in 13 for the box. Yeah. Okay, who else, who else are on the list? So Newcastle's coming up, but they're not playing yet, so we don't need to discuss them. Um, Newcastle coming up, eh? But who, yeah, who's in the Premiership now? So the Quins, okay? Quins have got a couple Quins are quite of, a clear side for me. Yeah. I'm not a big Quins fan. Yeah, they don't have, seems like they don't have the players. Don Brandt's obviously... Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how Eddie Jones is and pick him. Yeah, bro. But he's young, hey? He's like 23, 24. Alex Dombrand? No, I don't think he's that young. Oh, okay. No, he's definitely not more than 25, bro. No, I think Alex Dombrand's probably around 27. So then, okay, so... Oh, Quinn. wow. Alex Dombrand's 23 years old. Is he 23? Oh. Oh, wow. I, I, thought he, I thought he played... I went to uni, finished uni, and then has been playing for a couple of seasons. I think that's what happened. Um, so they've still got Marla, they've got that, that, um, I think he's, I don't know, Watch Island, he's a Fijian hooker or something, you know, he's, he's good, bro. Oh, uh, yes, He's got, like, yes, big throws, yes. dude, oh, yeah, I love that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't, yeah. It's weird, they don't have, like, big nips, the Queens, mm. I, I can't really think of their side at the moment. They got Landajo at nine. Isn't he a new signing, or has he been there for a while? No, he was there last season. Really? Since, yeah, definitely since the World Cup, I don't know about before. 